Guys, I'm so pumped. Ubiquity has finally launched their new line of UPS units, their battery backups. They're starting off small with their tower unit and eventually their 2U rack unit. These seem to be geared more towards home users. So let's take a quick look at the announcement video and see what's happening. So we've got the normal Ubiquity intro here, and then they're introducing us to the new battery backups. So here we've got the UPS tower and the UPS 2U. So on the left side here, we have the UPS tower, and then to the right, we have the UPS 2U. It looks like this tower unit is your normal desktop or under your desk uh, UPS to power uh, smaller items, maybe your router, computer, game console, or something like the new Ubiquiti UNAS 2 or 4. And then to the right is the UPS 2U. This hasn't been released yet, but it says it's coming in October. I just love the look of that silver. That's going to look so good in racks. So it's showing this unit is a 1.44 kVA. So it's probably 1000 watts. If we back up a little bit here, we've got the eight outlets. So the top four are going to be surge and battery. You can see that indicator there. And then the bottom four outlets are just going to be surge protected. I've got a breaker there, your power and a fan. And then this is going to be your battery pack. So this should be hot swappable. So if the batteries have degraded over time, you can pull these out via the front of the unit, slide new batteries in, and you're good to go. And then the UPS tower, we'll go back a little bit. At the top here, we have our 10 100 megabit ethernet. You've got a reset hole, and then we've got our outlets. So on the left side here, these outlets are surge protected and on battery backup. And then on the right here, we've got just surge protected outlets. On the bottom of the unit are an input and output um, RJ45, so you can plug in your internet into uh, the in and have it come out of the UPS unit, and that way it helps with surge suppression on the ethernet side of things. There we go, sitting nicely on the desk. And then, so just like any other UniFi device, you can adopt this into your UniFi controller and be able to control it. So here on the right side, you'll be able to see all of the outlets and the uh, RJ45 port. You see your power utilization and you should be able to see the battery level there as well. So you can pair the UPSs with other Ubiquiti products. So if you've got your uh, UNAS 2 or 4 um, or um, your UDM Pro or other NVRs, you can have those devices shut down gracefully via the UPS if the UPS loses power. So once you've paired the devices, it will be able to shut them down. So for third-party devices, they have implemented this NUT server. And so once you set this up, if you have a Proxmox box or um, another device that can look for an NUT server, you'll be able to gracefully shut down third-party devices as well with this UPS. And there we go. I am honestly shocked about these prices. So $159 for the UPS tower, $279 for the 2U rack unit. So these prices are very competitive. About two months ago, maybe three, I bought three CyberPower UPS units from Costco just to have um, for certain broadcast computers and that way if we lose power the computers don't need to shut down and restart um, and the service can keep going and those were 179 from Costco and they're about the same spec they are um, 500 or 600 watts and you know they can last a couple minutes at full load so 159 for this and it integrates into the unified network so I can control it. I mean, that's huge. I can't control the cyber power ones. There's a USB port on them, I believe, but I'm not going to hook up a computer to every UPS. I can have 10 or 15 of these on the network at different desks and stations, and I can control them. That's really cool. I'm even more shocked about the rack unit. $279 for a bigger unit, double the batteries. Uh, this can do 1,000 watts. Uh, of power of battery backup and it mounts right into the rack and looks just fantastic 
And then, of course, it wouldn't be a Ubiquity video if they didn't tease new items. So here we've got upcoming Pro and Enterprise Series units. It's very hard to see, but they are down here at the bottom with the uh, blue circle. I'm assuming that's them. This would be fantastic to have longer runtime on these units. Yep, higher capacity, sine wave filtering, and then lithium ion battery technology. So the first two rounds of the UPS units are lead acid battery. And so for the Pro and Enterprise series, they're gonna come with lithium ion batteries. And the great thing about those is you don't have to swap them out every three to five years. You should probably get 10 years out of the lithium ion batteries. So I'm really excited to see what they're gonna do for the Pro and Enterprise series. I think this is gonna be fantastic. So there we have it. There's the video from Ubiquity. So now let's take a look at the website and see what these are all about. Okay, here on the store, we can see the UPS tower, $159. Uh, shows one KVA interruptible power supply with 10 outlets and hot swappable battery. So the tower unit, you can leave on and uh, pull out the battery and put a new one in. That's fantastic. 108 watt hours. So half load, 300 watts, you can get about seven minutes of runtime. So if you're at full load, it's probably gonna be two, maybe three minutes. And reading online today, it seems like people are disappointed in that. This is the standard for a UPS like this. This isn't meant to keep your whole network and all of your devices up for half hour or an hour. That's not what this is for. This is designed to prevent your devices from just shutting off when power is cut. So if you lose power at your house, this will allow you to either shut the devices off if it's gonna be a while, or in the software, you can tell it to gracefully shut down your network devices. That's what this is for. So at the sites I manage, you know I've got the full Unify stack at all of them. Door access, cameras, network, all of that. I use right now APC battery backups, and these are huge units. I mean, I think they're 100 pounds a piece. Uh, you know, they're on rack rails, and I can get about an hour of runtime on those units. I'm hoping that the Pro and Enterprise series will be just like that. That would be huge. It'd be amazing. So hopefully the Pro and Enterprise series will allow us to have like 30 minutes of runtime. That is ideal to keep the doors operating, the cameras operating, you know, have the Wi-Fi network all going so that uh, if the power does go out in the office, people will have time to come in and out, get their stuff, and be able to leave the office. That's not what this first line is designed for. Okay, so going further down, we can see an overview. Let's look at the technical specs. So we've got the dimensions here. It's pretty small. 11 by 4 by 11. That's great. 18 pounds. That's pretty good. So it's a polycarbonate blend. Form factor is desktop. It does have that 10-100 port. And then it has the two gigabit ports for surge in and out. So 600 watts. That's the capacity of this. It is line interactive. So this is a simulated sine wave. Oh yeah, it shows down here. Simulated sine wave for battery mode. So this has a 12 amp max. Uh, output. So transfer time, 6 milliseconds is typical, but 10 milliseconds is max. So when the power goes out, you can expect 6 to 10 milliseconds for the transfer to batteries. This has one lead acid, 12 volt, 9 amp hour battery. So that makes sense. So full load at 2 minutes, half load at 7 minutes. And then it takes 6 to 8 hours for the battery to recharge to 90%. Has a 15 amp breaker, and we can see here the different status lights and the battery indicator lights. Okay, so in the box, pretty simple. You've got the unit and the power cable. So let's look at the 2U rack mount. We can see here everything we saw in the video. So this has 216 watt hours, so pretty much double the other one. So half load, uh, 500 watts is eight minutes of runtime. This one does have a cooling fan. I don't think the other one has any fans on it. It just has a bunch of ventilation, which should be fine. Again, we've got the management port, reset button, and then we've got the two uh, surge suppressed uh, ethernet jacks there and a power button. 
technical on this. So definitely bigger, so 17 and a half by almost 12 by about three and a half. This one's 30 pounds. Galvanized steel, it's a 2U rack unit. And we've got the ports there, so 1,000 watts on this. Again, 12 amp max, and same um, transfer time, simulated sine wave again. This has two lead acid 12 volt 9 amp hours. So at full load, you get over two minutes, and half load, about eight minutes. And again, six to eight hours recovery time to 90%. 15 amp breaker as well. In the box for this, you get the unit, you get all of the mounting hardware to put it in your rack. So there we go. That's the two new UPS units from Ubiquity. This is just the start, it sounds like, of their whole line of UPS units going from your prosumer home user to uh, pro and enterprise. So leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. Let me know what you think about these. How would you use these? What are you looking forward to on the pro side of the UPSs? If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'm hoping to have a lot more content coming up. I look forward to all of these new things that Ubiquity is coming out with and working hard on. So thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next one.